boys and girls recently i have traveled to the czech republic for those who don't know i'm from slovakia basically we are neighbors with pretty similar languages as always this is a highlight video pretty much traveling in the mid eastern europe so let me ask you this have you ever seen a chamber with 40,000 dead people that are not buried but are decorating the whole chamber or relatively affordable food in tourist spots enjoy the video well first of all we have to get a train to reach our first spot that is called Kutna Hora, where we wanted to see the bloody bone piles. The other thing is that the train ride takes up to five bloody hours. You might ask, traveling abroad must cost a lot of money. For us, not really. We are students, so it's quite dirt cheap. All right, five hours of traveling, you will need some food so we don't get hungry. And for that, minis are a great option, very affordable, and huge variety of different tastes. <gasps> Chocolate, vanilla, raspberry, cinnamon, pizza flavors anything you will want and do you remember where we are going exactly a czech republic from slovak republic as many americans say czechoslovakia sadly i have bad news for you the relationship ended in separation in 1992 we are on our own but as i said slovakia and czech republic have really similar languages so much so that even on this train ride i'm reading a book for my final thesis because i'm starting my final year of university pretty soon i have to get some work done beforehand and the book i'm reading is czech and i can read it it makes the time fly so much faster but still but more painfully we reached our first destination colleen here we found a nice place to stay it was not dirt cheap but for the money we gave it was very nice sadly i didn't get more footage there but here are some pictures oh, very nice we left our stuff in there and it is time to visit kutna hora for the bones kutna hora although it's not big it has some astonishing places very nice and also quite big but now for the main part of this trip kostel všech svatých church with the skeletons and stuff sadly no video because it's not allowed understandable and i don't mind but here are some pictures that you can find on the internet what was surprising about this place that i didn't get any uncanny feelings they just felt normal and mind you there are bones from 40,000 people there as the story goes in the year 1511 apparently the last priest organized the bones into six pyramids quoting this book Bonjour. I quite recommend checking this place out because where else? Well, there are some places, but this is something you don't see often. Of course, after that, we continued exploring the place. More amazing buildings and they are just huge. And also, I had my worst spaghetti of my life. First time in a long time, I thought ordering spaghettios in a restaurant would be a good idea. It wasn't expensive, but that was one of the worst thing I ate in a long time. After seeing most of the interesting places, it was time to go back to the hotel. However, on the way back, we seen very interesting under rail tunnel. It was full with very interesting images. And what's next? Of course, it is a train ride. Mind you, we did all of this in the very first day of our trip. Interesting, but quite tiring. I bought some salad on the way back and we went to sleep. The next day it was time to go to Prague, the capital of the Czech Republic. But before that we visited a nearby church, I mean right next to our hotel. Again it was quite mighty and we also met our skelly friends again. But what we found most interesting was this text. Take this translation with a huge grain of salt because it went from Latin to Spanish to Slovak back to English. So from our poor understanding it said something like victims of plague rest in peace and resurrect whatever that means i really like it maybe one day these people will resurrect and around around the town maybe wishful thinking but i don't think we got the right meaning after we said our goodbyes to our hopefully soon resurrected friends we went and got a lunch and i must tell you something the place we visited for lunch is in my opinion the best price to quality place i have ever been to soup two main dishes mind you in very beautiful nice atmosphere place coffee water and then we even got a dessert both of us we call it palacinka it's a sweet dish most comparable to pancakes and all of this was just delicious and for all of this we paid only 392 czech crowns which currently translates around 15 euros boys and girls welcome to prague for us it was not the first time visiting this place 
Let's start with the hotel. Asking price 143 euros for four nights in the middle of the city. Everything you need, including kitchen and breakfast. Very reasonable. And now let me show you Metro. I really like Metro. As I don't have this in my home time, I really enjoy this transportation. As I said, we were there for four days. So we seen a lot of stuff, but I will give you a few highlights. The first beautiful thing we seen was the presidential park. A lot of green, a lot of interesting buildings, and surprisingly enough, a lot of police with the military. Right next to it is the Prague Castle with a huge cathedral. Uh, to be honest, from the far, it looks big, but when you come close to it, it is really something else. From all this walking, it's natural to get hungry. On the way to get some food, we've seen Karlov Most and also Pražský Orloj. And right now, we are in the center of Prague. Looking for food, a lot of expensive restaurants. But fear not for your money, because right next to the Orloj is a restaurant Havelska Koruna. Not only it is not expensive, it is also, in my opinion, the best way to try Czech cuisine or Slovak cuisine in that matter, because it's quite simple. Similar. It is basically Czech slash Slovak school canteen. This is basically one to one representation what you would eat after school and we were quite ravenous so we not only got two main courses but also a dessert also known as Dukatove Buchtičky and it is quite delicious I don't think you can find a better representation of Czech or Slovak food directly in the middle of Prague our big lunch cost us 15 euros and by the way what do you think was the most epic thing I've seen in Prague there's so much to see for me it was the Prague planetarium for those who know me you might say I really like my space and stuff around it What's amazing about this place, the exhibition is actually for free and you will only pay for extra access. For example, in the night we went to see a movie about Voyager. And this is what good trip memories are made of. It is like a cinema, but not really. You lay down and look up to the ceiling. The whole cupola is basically the movie screen. I must say, if you never experienced this, you have to, it is really worth it. And as we were before talking about food, you can also visit places like Lidl, which is basically a supermarket, and cook for yourself. You never can go wrong with that. It is cheaper and usually tastier. And for the last big part of our journey, we took the train again and visited Konopiště to see a famous castle. The most interesting stuff we took from this castle, apart from the fact it wasn't quite cheap, that one of the owners was Ferdinand Este. This is a man who got murdered in Sarajev and it pretty much became the argument for the beginning of the First World War. But this is not the most interesting fact. It was that this man was a ferocious hunter. He managed to hunt down 273 thousand animals and how do we know that because he made sure to document all of his skills and now we can say bye bye to our holiday it was a wonderful time i mostly enjoyed the planetarium and the trip wasn't extremely expensive it came to under 200 per person could be better could be definitely worse we paid around 200 for the hotels and around 170 euros for the food tickets museums, exhibitions, everything. I hope you enjoyed. If you don't mind seeing me more often, consider subscribing and I will see you next time. Take care.